All right, so there's been quite a few new updates on our third interstellar visitor, 3i Atlas. Now, the funny thing is like, you know, and it depends how you look at it, the new data can suggest either that it is artificial or it's not. There's, there's so many things about it that they can't explain. And they're saying, well, this is a new mystery and, and this and that, which would suggest that it's actually artificial. So, but before we get into that, um, yeah, welcome to our new channel. As you can see, we, we don't have a lot of views. What we're trying to do here uh, with your help and through the comments is create our own little collective think tank and maybe come up with some new and interesting ideas. I think for us non-scientists, it might be actually easier to think outside the box, you know, because we're not attached to any certain type of academic way of, of thinking. Uh, so let me know in the comments what you think this 3i Atlas thing is. Um, even if it's just part of an idea, you know, we can all jump in and fill in the gaps or, you know, and, and work together on, on creating maybe a possibility um, that no one's thought of yet. And if we do come up, you know, with a, a really cool idea, we'll make you know, another episode out of it where we can explore that possibility. But anyway, let's get back to 3i Atlas. Let's go back to around, I think it was about the, the 5th of September, um, when they were saying uh, the, the tail is actually facing the sun for, for some reason. And then I, I think we made an episode out of this, but um, so apparently it's, it's, you know, it's something that, that can happen. My question is, if, if that would happen, wouldn't the, the comet actually slow down. The other thing that no one's talking about at the moment is it's so it's it's passing through our main um, asteroid belt at the moment. Isn't that going to change its trajectory? Um, maybe, but all right. All right, so let's have a look at what the new data is. I was having a look at um, Anton's uh, channel and if you don't know him, uh, I've put his link in the uh, description. I really like his show, like he, you know, he explains everything so well, like, but, you know, he's not very open to, to the idea of, you know, that this could be um, alien technology or anything like that. And usually most of his shows, aren't, you know, he's very scientific and he'll just only really look at the data and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. So early telescope data revealed that it was already active you know, when it was very far away from the sun, releasing unusual amounts of gas. <clears throat> Unlike most comets, this comet is dominated by carbon dioxide and has eight more times uh, CO2 than water, the highest ratio ever observed. This suggests that 3i Atlas formed in a very different star system, probably perhaps around a hotter star, much further away from its parent star than typical comets. So the, the James Webb telescope um, confirmed that the comet's composition, the ground-based telescope um, detected strong nickel um, emissions and, not, and no iron. It's unexpected and mysterious and it challenges the, the current models of comet chemistry. So already there we've got something really strange and we've never seen this before. So I don't know, I find that a bit strange. So these findings mean interstellar comets are not all alike. Well, yeah, I guess. They also say that it might be a lot bigger than what they expected. Um, and, and that I find very strange because for quite a while now, you know, the, the, the scientific community has been telling us, well, no, no, we know exactly what size it is. We, we know where it's going, what trajectory it's going to take and this. But, it, but if you got the size wrong, um, what else did you get wrong? You know, they, they maybe should have said straight away, well, we don't know what the size is. We think it's about this big. But you know, that they've got a tendency to, to just say, I don't know, well, we know the size, we know this, we know everything. So, which is obviously not true. But we, we might not have to wait very long for, for some answers. Um, on October the 3rd, the Mars Reconnaissance um, Orbiter is expected to capture high resolution images as the object passes near Mars. Now, I can't wait for that because I find this whole thing absolutely fascinating. All right, so thanks for watching. That pretty much uh, sums it up. If you can hit that subscribe button and like I said, leave some comments. Um, 
tell us what you think and then we'll check in the next couple of days and see what's happening with it.